So we got the sump here on the tank and we're gonna install the Earl's, uh, the fittings that are gonna take it from pipe thread to AN fitting. We're gonna do a dash six for the return and we're gonna do a dash eight for the feed. So there's two, obviously two bungs. Two bungs. So we'll just screw these in. So now that we got our fittings onto the tank, and we've mounted up our mounting bracket for the 100 micron filter. Uh, this is going to be the next piece that's going to go onto the fuel system. So we're going to plumb it from here to the filter first, and then from the filter, we're going to go to the pump. They want you to put, use a 100 micron filter in between the tank and the pump, and then after the pump is going to be a 10 micron filter before it goes to what would be the regulator. So we got the fuel filter, the 100 micron fuel filter mounted, and also we have the pump now mounted uh, on the side here. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna measure up the distance from the first fitting to the filter, and then also from the filter to the, to the pump. So we'll make that line next. And we have the pearl line cut. And on the line from the from the filter to the pump, this is going to be the dash eight feed. This is going to be the dash six return. Under micron filter, we fill it around, and we get right to the pump. And you can see up here, the flow is going that way towards the motor. So then we'll go from there to the number ten micron filter. And now we're going to mount over here in this great little spot. We're going to mount up the 10 micron filter, which is after the fuel pump right there. So let's get it mounted up. The lines are just loosely ran because I want to be able to check. Uh, you can see the lines are running all the way right there. Um, I want to be able to check the uh, all the fittings and make sure nothing's leaking. Um, once I get it fuel in it and get it get it primed up, so I know for sure that uh, there is no issues, and then I'll finalize it all. So here we are under the tank. There we are. There we got the uh, dash six and the dash eight running right to the sump on the tank. Uh, it then flows over here uh, to the, this is the 100 micron filter, which is uh, pre, pre pump. It then turns and goes to the pump, which is right there. And as you can see, 
they're showing you the flow uh, on everything so you know which way it needs to run. So there we go there, I got a little 180 bend going into the pump, comes out of the pump, and it jives up. Over the pumpkin. And then that goes to right there, which is the uh, 10 micron filter, which it then runs down and then runs all the way to the front of the car, uh, up into that regulator. So we're running all along, right up into, there's the Holly regulator in the bay. And then we're gonna finish it off with the last AN line, which we have cut already. So we'll put that on the rail right there. And then take the other end and go to the regulator. Obviously we're gonna tighten these down. So from there it goes to the rail. It runs all the way around. There's a crossover tube in the back of the intake on the high ram. There it is right there. And then it runs along to the front and then in the front we just have a cap. Uh, an Earl's cap on there on the end of the fuel rail. So pretty much ready to fire. Uh, in our next video, we're gonna be doing uh, basically the priming, setting up the ECM, and putting the flash on it in the tune. And we're gonna get this thing cracking off with some bald eagles. Screaming out America, chugging up the deuces and doing smoky American burnouts down the road. <laughs>